Hi. Let's have a look at this question here. Paper one, uh, time zone two, May 2022, physics high level. What do we have? We have a ball is thrown upwards at time t equals zero. The graph shows the variation with time of the height of the ball, obviously projectile motion. The ball returns to the initial height at time capital T. So the big T here is the full time of the trip or the total time of the trip. Now, what is the height h at time t small? This is what we need to find together. Okay, so what I will, how can I approach this? You know, this point here is not really a very a special point. We know usually in projectile motion, we'd like to use special points where we know lots of information. So for example, let me say, okay, this is point A where this is like the maximum height. Okay, so this is the maximum height at this point A here. And we know at the maximum height, the vertical velocity, the vertical component of the velocity is zero, right? So we reach the maximum height, vertical velocity is zero, and then come back down again, okay? So, so we know here the velocity equals zero, right? And also we know the time taken to reach the maximum height is going to be T capital over two, where because of the symmetry of the projectile motion, assuming of course, no air uh, resistance. Okay. So then I'm going to call, let's say uh, this point B, right? And I'm going to call this point C and let's see how we can approach this. Let's apply the SUVAT equations. We look at the options here at the choices, you know, you see K half GT squared, you know, so that's actually remind me with uh, S equal, like the distance or the height, the vertical height is going to be UT plus half A T squared. So let's analyze this, like break down into uh, parts. Let's say, okay, I'm going to apply the SUVAT equation from a point A to point C, okay? So from point A to point C, what do I have? I have initial velocity U equals zero, right? Because the velocity at point A is zero, the vertical component. Again, talk about vertical uh, vertical uh, motion here, not, not horizontal. Okay, and now acceleration is basically the acceleration due to, due to gravity is going to be uh, small g, right? It's gonna be positive because it's going down, right? And the time, from A to C, we know is going to be capital T over, over two, okay? So, and then the height is going to be, I mean, the S, the vertical displacement is going to be the maximum height. So we can say, okay, so high, uh, the height maximum is going to be UT plus one half, and instead of A, I'm going to put G and, uh, and, and then T squared. Now, UT is going to be zero because again, it is the initial velocity here is zero from A to C. Now, T small here is the time from A to C, which is capital T over two, right? To the power of T. So now we end up with H max is going to be, now T, cap T squared over four times two. So it's going to be one over eight here. And then uh, G small T capital square. And we call this equation one. Okay. Now let's uh, analyze from A to B. Now let's analyze from A to B. So let's say, okay, from A to B, there is a vertical distance traveled down from A to B. Let's call it S prime. So this distance here, this distance here, we are going to call it here S prime. You can call it anything, it doesn't matter. So S prime. Okay, so this is the vertical distance from A to B. So I can say, okay, I can find S prime again. So let's first, okay, so let me just write it down here. So from A to B, okay, the motion is vertical, vertical motion from A to B, right? U is zero anyway, okay? And this is, this, this is the beauty. This is how I choose this point, vertical maximum height, because I know the velocity is zero there, vertical velocity is zero. Okay, so, so from A to B, so we can say, okay, so S prime is going to be UT, which is zero, plus one half, again, G, uh, positive G, and then T squared, which is the time taken from A to B. Now, this is zero, right? So S prime 
is going to be one half times G. Now, time taken from A to B. Now, if the time taken to reach point B is T small, so this whole time here is T small on the horizontal uh, axis, right? And this time here is T over two. So you would agree with me to time reaching from A to B is going to be small t minus t over two. And this is all to the power of two. Now the remaining is algebra, right? So you can say S prime is going to be one half times G. And then, okay, square of the first term, T squared, and then plus T squared over four, and then minus two times T small times T capital over two, right? You can cancel two with the two here. So you end up with S prime is going to be one half G uh, between brackets uh, T squared is left minus uh, capital minus T small capital T, right? Plus big T squared over four. Okay, now our target here is to find this small H, right? So this height here, now we can tell, okay, this height here is basically the maximum height minus this small distance here, right? So, so you can say, okay, and then you can call this equation too. It's fine if you like, right? So we can say what we can say now. We can say, okay, so the maximum height, uh, sorry, so the H small is going to be H max, right? Minus S prime, right? Now we have a formula for H max, which is one over eight G T squared, right? And then minus S prime, which is which is this guy here. So I'm going to uh, expand. Uh, okay, let me just put S prime here, and then let me just expand down here. So H is going to be one over eight G T squared minus and then I'm going to expand right away. So one half G T squared and then minus times minus positive. Okay. One half G T small T capital. And then a negative times positive is going to be negative and one half G T squared over four. Okay. So what do you see here? You see uh, basically yeah, so, so see, basically here, 2 times 4 is 8, and this is 8, so we can cancel this whole term with this whole term, right? So we end up with h small is going to be uh, minus one, 1 over 2 g t squared minus 1 over 2 g t small t capital. Now, let's take 1 half g t, maybe, like, okay, let's see what can we take common factor here, right? So, sorry, this is positive. So we can take common factor half GT if you like. So one half is common, G small is common, T small is common, right? So what you end up with is capital T, right? Minus small T. So the answer is D, okay? So I hope it was helpful. Please leave a comment, question. You can approach me personally if you like. And... He see you in more uh, questions, paper one or paper two.